Iran. Coronavirus death toll rises to 23,251 cities nationwide. The People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran announced on Thursday that the coronavirus death toll exceeded 23,251 cities across Iran. After a two-week absence on Thursday, regime's Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei made no reference to the countless coronavirus victims in his 45-minute speech, nor did he offer condolences to the grieving people or mention the severe problems the people are facing. Mrs. Maryam Rajavi, the president-elect of the National Council of Resistance of Iran, said, Once again, Khamenei demonstrated the clerical regime's deadly impasse and his regime's disregard for people's lives. He made it clear that he is only concerned with preserving the ruling theocracy. As always, Khamenei sought to divert people's attention from the regime's crimes in the coronavirus disaster by invoking to enemies and foes conspiracies. This is why 80 million Iranians are living under the pressure and repression of the Mullah's regime. 50 political prisoners infected with coronavirus in northwest Iran prison. Several prisoners, including 50 political prisoners held at Urumiya Central Prison, have been infected with the coronavirus. In addition, in wards 3 and 4 of Urumiya Central Prison, 12 people have contracted the virus. Prison authorities took 15 of the ill inmates to out of the prison. Davud Ghassemzadeh, a paraplegic patient, is also su suspected of having coronavirus. He is now in the prison's clinic. The death row prisoner had recently gone on a hunger strike along with his brother, who is also on death row, to protest being denied medical treatment. Two more prisoners died of COVID-19 in dire prison condition. Two more prisoners died of COVID-19 in the Fashofuya prison. Their names are Mehdi Rabin and Lashkari Pana. With the two victims, the number of prisoners died of COVID-19 in this facility has reached eight since the outbreak. Hygiene conditions in the prison wards are reported as atrocious. Each room has a high number of prisoners cramped inside and many don't even have a bed to sleep on, forced to lay down and rest on dirty floors. The only detergent available for the prisoners is dishwashing liquid. Despite the coronavirus starting to spread in the prison, authorities and officials have to this day remained silent on this object and refusing to provide any report on the status of ordinary and political prisoners.